news that Sudan will include Halayib and Shalatin as constituencies in upcoming elections struck Egypt by surprise. For years, Egypt considered both villages Egyptian, and they had voted in all elections. The foreign ministry issued a strong statement. This file is finalized and closed. Their Egyptian territories and raising the issue in the media now aims to create users' tensions. Halayib and Shalatin were Egyptian according to British Egyptian demarcation in 1899. The British occupation annexed the villages to Khartoum in 1902. Gamal Abdel Nasser, however, retained control of the 20,000 square kilometer area in 1958 and remained so. Sudan insists they are Sudanese. It said that during a visit to Khartoum in 2012, former Egyptian President Mohamed Morsi promised to give the villages to Sudan. Egyptian officials later denied. The leaders there always raise this issue whenever they face an internal crisis, such as the current problems with opposition of a national dialogue. The government is reluctant to join, so it throws in the border issue with Egypt as distraction to the public opinion. Sudan's President Omar al-Bashir is expected in Cairo this month. Experts hope the two neighbors, being historical friends and allies, could pave the way for a quick solution to the dispute. For Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, it's another headache, this time in the southern borders in which he has to deal with immediately. He is already facing an insurgency on the western borders with Libya and a crackdown on terrorism in the eastern borders with Gaza. Yasser Hakim for CCTV, Cairo.